nothing much to do when you're out here alone But listen to the radio till daylight breaks Hoping they play something that'll keep you awake Behold, my trucker station came to an end But behold, a new savior stepped right in Thank God for the satellite and radio For good trucking music, there's a place to go Bill Mack and Cindy and Dave Nemo Thank God for the Good morning, good morning, guys How's everybody doing today? I'm sitting there at the shipper still We finally got all loaded after a couple of hours of waiting But now it's another waiting game <laughs> yeah got all the other paperwork except for my customs paperwork and uh, I had to go into the office to uh, go get the paperwork for the customs paperwork and uh, for some reason he ran out of paper he put new paper in a printer and his printer wouldn't work anymore according to him I don't know if it's true or not that's what he said so, I'm all screwed now. I'm gonna wait till uh, he decides to fix his printer and bring the paperwork to me. What you said could take 15 20 minutes, but you never know. You never know. Now it's just a waiting game to get the paper. Got everything else under control. We're ready to go. Oh well, I guess I'll keep you up on what we're up to. We'll see you a little bit later. Alrighty guys, we are finally getting out of here. It's like 12.45 in the afternoon. Yeah, I've been up since like 6 o'clock this morning. 400 feet, turn right on East Broad this Street. This is terrible. I don't know about these guys. Seems like they take all day long to get me loaded. But according to the paperwork, we're not as heavy as we originally thought that we was gonna be. At least that's a bonus. I talked to the guy there in, the, in shipping there and he said, uh, Originally it was supposed to be 46,000 pounds. I'm like, I could never ever pull that. No way I could do that. I can't even really do 45, especially if they don't add the pallets in there. I think like 45 would be the maximum I could even do, you know? Because I got a heavier truck. But now it turned out to be like 32,447 pounds in total, according to the paperwork at least. It's only sold a little bit, you know. Might be a little heavier, might be a little lighter, you never know, right? I can definitely feel some weight in there, that's for sure. And then he says they took the heavier stuff out already. <laughs> Okay. Trailer is full all the way to the back. Okay, we are finally out of here, that's for sure. Oh, now we got 637 miles to home. Now I could technically make it home today. Well, I don't know. No, not today, I don't think so. It would be tomorrow already. <laughs> it would be after midnight by the time I would be home. If I really pushed it hard, I could do it. But In 500 feet, slide left on US 41. I don't think I want to do that. I don't feel like doing that. Let's see if we can see the other traffic from the other side. There we go. <laughs> Alright, you want to turn, okay. That's good. Yeah, even though it's only 636 miles, I could technically make it home mile wise, but Continue on this because road it's a lot of back roads, I don't think I could do it. Even if I started this morning, I would have probably had to stop somewhere. But, yeah, let's put the hammer down and let's get the heck out of here. There's my 
miles and miles of trucks rolling end to end. What a sight to see, how did it all begin? Corporal Norm said, help me, so the drivers all pitched in. And with hearts of gold, they hit the road for his special friends. Now there's a little piece of heaven brought with every load. When those highway angels come to spread their wings. The world's largest truck convoy rolling down the road. To that special athlete, it means everything. They all come together the same time every year From coast to coast, north to south, they graciously appear Bringing hope and lots of love, loaded on 18 wheels They'll jam some gears and shed some tears to show how truckers feel There's a little piece of heaven brought with every load when those highway angels come to spread their wings The world's largest truck convoy rolling down the road To that special athlete, it means everything Well, the humming of the engines, the blowing of the horns The black smoke filling up the air It's the greatest show on earth Imagine what it's worth to that smiling face who sees someone that cares. There's a little piece of heaven brought with every load. When those highway angels come to spread their wings, the world's largest truck convoy rolling down the road. To that special athlete, it means everything. Yeah, the world's largest truck convoy rolling down the road To that special athlete, it means everything Wisconsin and take a look over there to the right. Look at all them boats that have docked already by the docks. Man, that is a lot of sailboats up there. I know this the Superior Lake is pretty big. And she had a documentary on it a while back ago. I watched it. Yeah, about some big ships going back and forth here all the time. I go through here quite regularly, so for me it's nothing new, but for some of you viewers it might be something very interesting to watch, right? At least that's my goal, just to try and make it very interesting for you guys. But, uh, yeah, we stopped over there a little, uh, two miles back or whatever. We stopped over there at the truck stop. Had us a nice shower, much deserved and needed shower too, it was way overdue already. Yeah, <clears throat> grab me a slice of pizza there, me a quick bite there before I left. And uh, here we are. GPS is telling me to go the other way, but I like to go here on this uh, highway too, you know. I don't know why it's doing that today, but maybe that bridge is still under construction. Maybe they got it closed, and if that's the case, I guess, well, 
I would have been better off going this way, but uh, we're going to attempt this anyways. Yeah. They've been working on this uh, big bridge up here for a while already. Quite a while they've been working on it. Anyways, I'll see you guys over there. Well, guys, I've shown you guys this bridge a couple of months ago already, but uh, we have new subscribers all the time, and uh, for some of you, you probably don't mind seeing it again, right? I wouldn't think so. I don't think you might. I hope the camera is not being blocked too much by the sun. But uh, it's gorgeous up here, absolutely gorgeous. We'll be entering Minnesota here right away. Yep. It is uh, on this side, it's Duluth, Minnesota, and on the other side, it's Superior, Wisconsin. We are on uh, US Highway 2 right now. Yep. Crossing order. Entering there you Minnesota. go. Construction over in Minnesota. There we go, that sign right there. Entering Minnesota. Yeah, they got some factories down there, it looks like. But it's absolutely gorgeous down here. That is for sure. I don't know how we're going to have to uh, get off of this bridge. Uh, memory serves me right it's a sharp turn to the left so yeah let's see if we can uh, make that exit yeah, looks like it a lot of four-wheelers down there making that turn so but it's been a good day though even though we had to sit and wait forever to get loaded still managed to get loaded and uh, here we are already three and a half hours or almost four hours later you know we're making our way home slowly slowly but surely right oh man this is a bad turn too yep remember this huh? it's a little tight to uh, make this turn well actually it's not too bad it just looks tighter than what it is oh man that sun is shining right into my window on my windshield before it was coming from the other side so <laughs> in 2.5 miles take us to west prompter all right we will do that we will do that Anyways, I have no idea how far I will make it tonight. I'm just going to drive until I'm tired. I only started driving there at quarter to one, so... It's not like I have to stop right away, right? But, uh, let's put the hammer down and see how far we can make it. And then we'll see you wherever we turn the camera on next. No, guys, I am done for today with driving. It's about quarter after eight. And uh, what you see behind me is a rest area. And let's take a look. We are in, I think it said gas. Let me have a look at it here and see what it actually is. I know it's a uh, lake something, but yeah, G gas lake, C-A-S-S -S lake. Have a look at it for yourself. You can probably see that for yourself. Yep, and it's four degrees. Feels like minus two. Oh no, it says low is supposed to be minus two. So it's freezing point tonight. It really is. Yep, I'm hoping you can actually see me, but uh, they got fairly nice lighting up here, and this is what I like. Nice North American rest area. It's so like a small highway, Highway 2 it's called, and in the middle of nowhere, you got a nice big size rest area. I mean, there's, uh, well, probably room for about 15, 15 trucks that could probably park in here. And uh, it's nice from uh, 
America to uh, to have a nice rest area like this, you know. It really is nice to have it like that. But anyways, I'm starting to get a little cold out here, so I figured I'd probably just end my show here. Show you guys a little bit on what we're up to. Yeah, we got about 300 miles to go for tomorrow. And then we'll be done. So I guess we'll see you guys again tomorrow. So have a good one, and we'll catch you on the next one. Good night, everybody.